Hey, everybody, it's Ed. Okay, we're gonna go back in time again. We are going back to the year of 1978. The month is June, and Colonel Tom Parker was probably itching for gambling money and needed to release more Elvis product. So, in his infinite wisdom, he came up with the brilliant idea to release this. What is this? This is called Elvis Sings for Children and Grown Ups too. Okay, what do we got here? Well, we have, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess he was trying to appeal to the children's market at the time that parents would buy this for their kids. Now, at the time when this came out, I was uh, June, so I was nine years old by this time. And I do remember uh, my father buying this and bringing it home. And I was like, ooh, this is an album for me. And I remember putting it on and just probably listened to it once and don't think I've listened to it since. <laughs> and, you know, and it's really not that there's terrible songs on here, but that, of course, is subjective and up to your opinion. Um, yeah, but, but it, it actually says on the back here that the, um, the, the album creative director is Colonel Tom Parker. It, was, uh, it says reissue produced by Joan Deary. Joan Deary was a fantastic producer. I, I think she did a lot of good stuff uh, with, with post-death Elvis releases. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I did come with a little bonus Elvis greeting card, okay? And it is also a gatefold, but you would think, wow, gatefold's gonna have some great pictures of Elvis in it. Oh, no, no, it doesn't. No, mm -mm, not at all. We actually have lyrics, which I think was a first at the time for Elvis albums to have the lyrics printed on them. But I'm not exactly 100% sure. If you know differently, let me know in the comments. All right, but here's your album. So let, let, let's look at what the, uh, what the album itself looks like. I just dropped the card that is in the album. Sorry about that. All right, we are on side A. Look at that beautiful black RCA Victor label, circa 1978. And then we have side B. Final appears to be in really, really good shape because it, like I said, I think this was only played once. All right, but then, like it said, on, attached on the back of the album cover was this. Special, uh, what does it say? Special Memories of Elvis greeting card. Here's the back. It's textured, which is pretty cool. Uh, maybe, yeah, you could see the texturing of it. All right. You hear it? Wow. And what? Oh, isn't that cute? In a little kitty font. To and from. Yeah. All right. What songs are on here? Well, you know, we're saying that Elvis sings for children and grown-ups, too. So you got to think that the songs are really more um, geared towards, towards kids, I would guess. But all right, we have Let Me Be, Your, Teddy Bear, Wooden Heart, Fife, Sleepy Heads, Puppet on a String, Angel, and everybody's favorite, Old MacDonald. Uh, side B, How Would You Like to Be... And then Cotton Candy Land, Old Shep, Big Boots, and Have a Happy. All right, not that there's terrible songs on here, um, but it's just, it was a pointless compilation. It was a money grab. It was, oh my God, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Every song on here had been previously released. There were no um, different takes or anything that I'm aware of. And I have to be honest with you, I haven't listened to this in so long. I probably should have listened to it at least before I did this. Uh, to even let you know if Joan Deary did any remixing or or any um, you know thing different with any of these songs, but I got to be honest with you. From what I remember, I I don't believe so, but I couldn't tell you with certainty. Yeah, I know I'm a terrible reviewer. Sorry, I'm just giving my opinion overall of of what the release was and um, how pointless I think it was, and you know it's it's. Is it a necessity for your collection? No, I don't believe so. 
Uh, it's funny, too. I really don't see this out in the wild too much, if at all. I think maybe I'd come across it once in, you know, the past 20 years. Uh, but again, not to say that it's rare, because I don't believe that it is. So, I... Again, you know, Teddy Bear, Wooden Heart, Five Sleepyheads, Puppet on a String, Angel, Old MacDonald, How Would You Like to Be, Cotton Candy Land, Old Shep, Big Boots, and Have a Happy, plus, you know, a, a greeting card, if it's still in there. And, um, yeah, actually, no, 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 I, I take that back. I take that back as far as seeing this in a while. Now that I think of it, I do believe uh, Infinity has a sealed copy. I don't know, maybe it's sold, though, because I don't know if I've seen it there recently. I'll have to go and double-check. All right, but again, is it worth getting in your collection? I don't think so. If you're a completist, though, and you come across it and you can find it for cheap and you want it, then by all means, buy it. Uh, you know, the cuff is... It's its different. I don't... You know, I, I get what they were going for. But even as a kid, I remember not being impressed with this. And it, as an adult, I'm certainly... I'm <laughs> not impressed with this. All right, but, uh, yeah, there's, there's my two cents for what that is worth. Let me know what you think in the comments. And, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Take care, everybody.